let's talk about good Tao behaving badly. It is not actually so much that the Tau protein misbehaves. It is more that it is being led astray by the abnormal binding within the neurons caused by the aging process. We have talked already about the increased waste and the decreased clearance that leads to an increase in lipofusin and Tau starts to bind to the lipofusin and form a ligamus. By binding to the lipofusin, tau actively changes its structure and forms a stable hairpin structure, which is the very sharp curve you can see in the repeat domain, the red section. This in turn forms the basis for more tau to change and come and add to the stack. The oligomers twist into paired helical filaments and form tangles. So clearly, this is good tau gone bad, and this now has a devastating impact on the neuron and the functioning of the synapse. And it's much more than that. The abnormal tau aggregates now result in microtubular instability, which in turn leads to disruption of the mitochondrial and vesicle transport to the synapse. This also causes disruption of the snare complex at the synapse, so that the neurotransmitters do not transmit across the synapse as they normally would. So we have microtubular instability with loss of function and eventually no function. Tau also spreads within the brain. The misfolded proteins are capable of transferring between interconnected neuronal networks, and this can act as a template to induce further aggregation. There's a cascade effect.